Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Dave Levy. I'm a principal product developer for the BMC Amy Ops Automation product. I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. In this session, we will briefly look at the new auto load feature available in Rules Management. The new auto load tool is an easy way to migrate your existing classic rules implementation into rules management and a rules registry. The tool can dramatically reduce the amount of time needed to do the conversion by virtually eliminating all the manual effort. Using the tool is as simple as completing a few keywords in your AAO PLX00 member and then restarting the Ops A PAS. The tool will automatically load everything you need into the empty rules registry so it will be ready to run in full registry mode. The tool will create the rule pools, the rules, rule sets, the required PAS def, and a VPL entry for the PAS. As already mentioned, you activate the tool by completing some keywords in the AAO PLX00 PARMLIBE member. The options also allow overrides to various default names that will be used. You will also need to set the PAS into what is called admin mode and provide an empty registry dataset. Admin mode lets you see and configure your rules management environment without actually having the PAS use it for automation yet. Once the PAS is restarted with the auto load option and it completes its work, the PAS is ready to cold start in full rules management mode. At that point, the PAS is fully converted to rules management and is running with the information that was loaded into the registry. The BBPARM version of the rule sets will no longer be used by this PAS. Let's briefly look at the keywords in a little more detail. The first keyword we want to look at in the AAO PLX00 member is the auto load registry keyword. This keyword controls whether the tool should be activated and if so, what you would like loaded into the registry. The documentation found in the sample AAO PLX00 member will provide all the details for each option. Each option chooses a different group of rule sets that will be loaded. The all option is recommended for most users. This set of keywords controls how the objects that are loaded into the registry will be named. Again, the documentation in the AAO PLX00 member will provide more information as well as suggested values. All the keywords have default values, so it may not be necessary to change anything if you like the defaults. The good news is that after letting the autoload tool load the registry, if you don't like the choices, it is very easy to change the AAO PLX00 member delete and define the registry dataset, and let the tool do its work again. The tool can load hundreds of rules in a matter of seconds, so it is easy to try different naming strategies. The auto load tools keywords are only recognized and processed when the criteria noted here is met. The PAS must be running in admin mode, a valid auto load registry option other than no has to be chosen, and the rules registry must never have been used in a PAS since the VSAM define was done to create it. The auto load process will commence a few minutes after you see the PAS initialization completed messages. The tool must allow all parts of the PAS to be fully operational before starting the auto load process. Messages to show the progress of the auto load will be presented in the PAS job log. Here are some of the messages that you will see. The first set will identify all the rule sets that it intends to load, and then you will see each rule set and its rules loaded in succession. The final messages indicate that the process is completed and provides a summary of what was loaded. In this example, the total elapsed time was 16 seconds to load 47 rule sets and 2,307 rules. Your elap times may be different, however. When the auto load process is completed, the registry is now ready for use by the PAS. If you are unsure about the object names that you chose, now would be a good time to use the UI to go into the Windows Mode Rules Management and look around. You can take a look at the rule pools that were created, the set base, the rule sets, and, and get familiar with the views and object relationships. 
Once you are happy with what Auto Loaded created for you, all that remains is for the pads to be set to full mode in the AAO PLX00 member, and then a cold start of the pads is done. The cold start will now fetch all the rule sets and rules from the registry and come up with the same automation as it had before the conversion. In full mode, the classic rules editor will be disabled in the pads. You will now use the rules management rules editor that supports all the latest rule features. This concludes this quick course. Thank you for your time. For more information on any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here.